All right, so we're going to do a, another example where we construct a parallel box and whisker plot. This time we have some different data that we actually have done previously in, in a previous example, except in that one we didn't do a box and whisker plot. Uh, so this following data represents the runs scored by two professional cricket players over a period of 10 games. We have Adam and Ben, and we need to calculate the five number summary for each set of data first. So the first thing we're going to do, we need to put them in order. So let's look at Adam, whose lowest score was zero. I'm going to pause and, and I'll fill this in. All right, I've put Ben up here just to give us some room. So let's start by finding the median. One, two, three, four, five numbers in. So we've got a median of 35 for Adam and Ben has a median of 35 as well and then we've got our quartile so quartile 3 is 61 and quartile 1 is 10 for Adam quartile 3 is 42 and quartile 1 is 29 and then we've got our upper and lower extremes so lower extreme is 0 upper extreme is 110 for um, for Adam and for Ben we've got 0 and 100 okay now we need to double check in case there's any outliers uh, because there are, if there are outliers it's going to change the way we draw our box and whisker plot okay now um, I'm just going to tell you that looking at the at Ben, I, I can tell that there's not going to be any outliers. So let's draw his box box and whisker plot first. So we've got the zero, we put an X there, the 10, an X, a median of 35, a quartile three at 61, and an upper extreme at 100. So we start by drawing the box with the three middle X's and a box to the medium, and then our whiskers. Okay, so the whiskers will connect. All right, now we're going to do Adam, and, and I have a suspicion that we might actually have even two outliers here. So let's have a look. We'll start with our interquartile range, which is 42 minus 29. We just did quartile 3 minus quartile 1, and that will give us... 13 and then step two is to take the interquartile range and times it by 1.5 just grabbing my calculator and that gives us 19.5 all right well that's our magic number and we'll get to that in a second what i think we'll do right now is we'll put x's where these five points are so we've got a zero uh, let's do this in purple a 0, a 29, a 35, a 42, and 110. So 110 is actually past the mark, but that's okay. We'll put it way over there. I have a suspicion. Now, well, first of all, I know that I'm going to draw a box here with a line in the middle. But I have a suspicion that both whiskers are not going to connect because... I have a suspicion that they're both outliers. So what we'll do, if we look at this number 19.5, if I take the number 29 and go 19.5 less than it, I'm going to land somewhere around 10. And the zero is outside that. That, that means the zero is an outlier. So that, that's going to be an outlier there. And if I do the same thing with quartile 3, if I take 42 and add 19.5, I'm going to end up somewhere close to 60, and 110 is way past that as well. So we're going to have to come one in from the 110 and take the 50 and put an X there. And we're going to have to come one in from the 0 and take the 28, which is right next to our box. So we're going to have really short whiskers, and we're going to have two outliers on this one. Okay, now we're going to finish... <coughs> Excuse me, with question C, which wants us to comment on the distribution. Now, when we look at both of these, uh, we've got Adam and Ben. Actually, I better label which one's which for us. Adam's the purple one, and Ben is in blue. 
when we look at this, we can see that they both have the same central measure. They, they've both got the same median. The, the main thing that's different is that Ben's data is really spread out, and we can see that from the box and whisker plot. It's a very long box and whisker plot, whereas Adam's data is, re is grouped very close together. His box plot is quite small. It's not really long. And then we've got these outliers out here. So we need to comment on this. And, and what we're going to say, we'll start with the measures of center. So Adam and Ben both have a very similar, in fact it's the same, a very similar central me measure of center or central measure, either one. But Adam is a more consistent player. Why do we say that? And the reason we know this is when data is grouped close together, it means they are more consistent. Adam consistently gets a score around about the 35 mark. A manager knows that if he puts Adam out there, he he's going to get close to 35 runs most of the time. Ben is not so consistent. He gets really large scores and, and really low scores as well. He's got the same central measure as Adam, so he gets around 35 runs as well. But you don't know if he's going to come out and score 100 or score 0 or score 10. There's no guarantee that he's going to get a score around 35. So we say that Adam is a more consistent player. I think we'll finish there. See you later.